Later this week, on July the 4th or thereabouts, our churches are allowed to open again for public worship and our church leaders are going to have to work out how best to do that so that everybody is safe at the same time as people can feel really warmly welcomed and enjoy being together and to appreciate the opportunity to say our prayers together, offer our worship together. During the lockdown, of course, we've experienced lots of different ways of being church and especially using the uh, electronic media like Zoom, uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube and all that. Um, and we've been able to engage with our communities in a much wider way uh, than is possible when smallish numbers of people, let's be honest, come together from our communities uh, to church services on Sundays. Now, as we've begun to experience this, we've had new experiences of being in worship. For example, it's very different experience from being in a congregation looking at the back of people's heads to sitting in a comfortable place in your home and seeing your fellow worshippers face to face in head and shoulder shots close up. There's a strange intimacy about that. As we've begun thinking about opening our churches again for public worship, I've been startled reading one of the Bible passages set for today, Wednesday, the 1st of July. And it's made me ask a question about whether God actually likes the stuff that we do in church. I don't know about you, but quite often uh, for myself, I found my attention in church wandering, looking at the beams, looking at the windows, um, being miles away from what's been going on in front of me. The Bible reading for today from the book of Amos says something very harsh indeed about church, well, not church as such, but about the worship that was being offered by the people of God. And speaking in the name of God, the prophet, prophet says, I hate, I despise your festivals, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies. Even if you offer me burnt offerings and grain offerings, I won't accept them. Take away from me the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the melody of your harps. You think, it's a blimey. Does God actually like being in church on a Sunday? Does God appreciate what we offer? I think if you look at that passage again, you begin to see that what is being questioned is, what's the state of our hearts? What's the state of our minds? If we're bitching and griping against each other and then come all pious to say our prayers, God isn't convinced any more than we are ourselves. So what God is looking for is a genuineness, an openness of heart and mind, so that we look to our communities not as places of threat anymore, not as places where we're likely to be exploited, but as places of opportunity to see God's love at work and to join in with it. The passage ends, uh, the passage I've just read, ends with uh, God calling people. It says, Let justice roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. That's what we're called to give attention to as we open our churches again. What kind of things will be right for our society? What kind of things will be right for our churches? What will be the shapes of justice and fair dealing when our society went into the lockdown dreadfully divided between rich and poor? How will it be now? What will unite us? Will it be God's ideas of justice and mercy and righteousness flowing like water down a hillside to refresh the land beneath? <laughs>